Hey friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to run Gemini fine tuned AI models in your Flutter app. So, before we begin, I will show you. So, I have created a fine tuned model, which is this one, and the model name is over here. And I have used an example prompt here to use our this particular fine tuned model. So, in this fine tuned model, although it says addition of two numbers, but what it actually does is it adds the two numbers and adds the second number two, two times. So say for 2 plus 5 plus 5 which is 2n. So this is a bit of a twist from the simple addition so that we can see that the behavior of fine tuned model is being shown here. Okay. The steps for creating fine tuned models and all are described in this particular page. I will provide a link in my uh, description below. And also to set up the GCP console, uh, the authorization part, I have described the steps in this particular page. The link for this also I will provide in the link below. So let me start in the Android Studio. So let me create a quickly of Flutter project. Name this is Gemini AI Fine Tune Models. You can name this project anything, it doesn't matter. And click on create. It may take a while to create the environment. Let's wait. Once the environment gets loaded, so this will be the default app code which it will. Uh, create uh, the environment and if you run it, this is the app uh, application which will run in your browser. Okay, so here when you click on this plus symbol, it will increase the control over here. So we'll just modify this code uh, itself. So first, let me start doing a very quick cleanup. So I don't think I need all these uh, methods. So definitely, I don't need uh, the first method over here. I'll just remove it and I'm getting some error here. Probably, what I'll do is I'll just replace it by calling directly my home page this particular um, method and over here i don't think i need any input from here so that's what so now all the errors are gone however there is still one error over here which is basically for title so i'll just remove it and say demo app yeah no this if i go back it will still work the title will change to demo app and these sort of things will work as it is so I'll quickly pause this video and remove all these uh, uh, comments and all and make it a much more simpler uh, code wise. So I simplified the code here by removing all the uh, comments and I can even minimize this method. I don't think I need to use this. I'll also minimize the main method. Okay. And the only method way we have to do our coding is this particular uh, uh, class uh, which will be using it. And if I go to my app, it is still working the default one. Okay. Now uh, let me switch quickly to the documentation page. So if you go to your uh, general Google AI Studio and in documentation, you will get the steps for doing the coding which I am going to show uh, for the fine tuning part. And over here, if you scroll down on the left hand side, you should get this fine tuning option. And over here, fine tuning tutorial. You can choose between Python and REST since we are doing in Java. So I will be using the REST uh, APIs and then click on run inference. And here you will get the curl command for your REST API. So just convert this into the Dart code. Oh, sorry, it was not Java, but it was a Dart code. Uh, yeah, uh, I should be. To which you should convert this. So I'll go back to my coding now. Over here, so they give the default uh, method or the increment counter. Probably I'll change it to something like uh, Gemini fine tune method. And I'll use the same method name to call over here on this. It doesn't matter, you could have left it same, but here I just want to have more meaningful name. And definitely I don't need an int counter here. So I'll just uh, modify this. I don't think I need this. And over here, I think I'll have to modify this. So instead of dollar counter, I think what I'll need is a input and output. So I will introduce a text input and text output. So I'll just change it from dollar counter to dollar text output. And if I switch back over here, Output, yeah, perfect because initially we have made it as an output. Perfect. Now let me complete this method. So, this method again, uh, I'll just show you. So, we have to convert this curl command into our dart code. So, I'll quickly pause and write the code completely and come back here and just paste the code. Perfect. So, I have copied the code here, everything. Uh, I'll go one by one step, but let me first uh, complete or uh, fix the issues error so first error is it says to add an async modifier so basically it is asking you to add an async modifier over here 
So that can be simply done by just adding async over here and that error will be gone. Perfect. The other error is for HTTP. So we have to include a dependency for HTTP. So just go to your pubspec.yaml file and over here scroll down and over here at the flutter level just add HTTP. I think 0 0.13.5 and then do pop get. I think I can minimize the left hand side. I don't need it anymore. So finish code. Exit code is 0. So that should that looks good. Come back here. And if you hover over it, now you should get an option to include the header, but it's not getting this. Okay, let's scroll down. Yeah, import this one. And over here, if you hover on the HTTP, but it's still not coming. So I think manually we'll have to add no problem just scroll up and uh, just in the import part just add uh, this line of command where you are importing the http dot dot as http and that should be fine if you scroll back down that error is gone now from here so perfect so there is no more error now so it looks good the only thing what we have to change is in the header uh, the content type will be of course uh, good uh, because that we have directly taken from here the injection and the uh, authorization access token that is what I have shown in my previous video, uh, which I was showing in this particular in this video. So you have to run this particular command. If I scroll down, you have to just run this command to get the or print the access token in your command line. So just go your go to your command line and run that, and you will get the access token. Just copy paste that access token and go back to your code and change. It. Don't use my access token anyway. Till it not work but still uh, yeah don't use and give the uh, project name from your gcp environment so again the steps uh, for that also everything is explained in this particular page just go through this page how to get the project name. so once you have it uh, rest of things i think uh, is fine uh, the data part is fine the url and all are anywhere taken from this documentation part this is the url and in the url the model name will come from this uh, if you go to fine tune models and the model id will be the model name okay so take this complete name over here and come back to your environment so this is the url then there will be yeah result and all the checks and then you can print the results and then you can extract the uh, main part of it and update the output so that's all no let me update the widget part very quickly so here i'll update this couple of widgets because right now there are two text widgets right but i have to change it so that i also get an input widget where i can input my Thing. So over here, I'll just replace this part with my, uh, this I wrote uh, after pausing the video. So here I'll just quickly explain the things I kept as it is. The only thing I have added is an extra uh, widget over here where I'm taking the input and when the input is given, then I'm adding, uh, assigning that input to the text input. Okay. So, so this text field is added for input and the output anyway, I kept it as it is. And floating button is as it, as it is. So that means to click go back. So this is the modified interface. So the only thing changes this particular box. Now to test it, so let's give one of the inputs which we have earlier seen in our uh, testing of this particular fine tuned model. So there are like few of these inputs which we have tested before. So say for example, let me take this 4 plus 3 and let's see if it works or not. 4 plus 3, the output I'm expecting is. 4 plus 3 7 plus 3 10 so 10 is what i am expecting here so let me see what it gets 10 perfect so that means it's working now let me take something different so 4 plus 1 probably which is not in this test uh, concept but of course it should follow my fine-tuned model concept because it's an intelligent system right so 4 plus 1 5 plus 1 6 so one is uh, the last number is added twice perfect so it looks working fine so i can just test something else also so 2 plus 7, 7. so 2 plus 7 is 9 and plus 7 is 16. So I'm expecting 16 over here. Perfect. So that's all I wanted to show you in this short video that uh, how easy it is uh, to use your fine tuned model, give me fine tuned model in your Flutter app. And you have to use the curl command in your, uh, you have to convert this curl uh, concept in your Dart code and it will work fine. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.